That's right. The parents are now speaking out for their 16 year old daughter, then 15 years old at the time. They say she was repeatedly sexually assaulted by that same student here at Wilmer Amina Carter High School in Rialto. I'll say it was substantial and it was on school property. Uh, multiple different uh, times it's, uh, from the three that we know of school property. And then there was additionally a series of harassment, of intimidation. Now, the family and their lawyers gathered outside in Ontario this afternoon announcing they are filing a claim which essentially could be a precursor to a lawsuit against a public entity. In this case, that could very well be the school district. Now, Mother Stephanie Olvera was there speaking on behalf of her daughter and family. They were holding signs and wearing T-shirts in support of her daughter speaking out. Now, Rialto police say initial reports came in of a 15-year-old female student who was sexually assaulted several times in the past three months by another student at the school. Investigating learned that there were two other students, female students, uh, ages 15 and 16, who allegedly were also sexually assaulted by that same student. Now, Rialto police say one of the victims reported it to school officials last September, but they were never notified. They never notified police. What makes me the angriest is that the vice principal herself reached out to me and stated to me that there was no immediate concern. For that reason, it makes me angry because I asked her plenty of times if I needed to leave my job so I can go and attend to my daughter. And she told me, no, I'm a mother myself. You have no reason to worry. Now, this is video Olvera released in an effort to get the word out about what was going on. Authorities say additional sexual assault allegations against that same student were reported back in November and this month. Now, earlier this week, both assistant vice principals, Shen Han Yang and Natasha Harris, were arrested and charged with child abuse and failure to report after authorities say they were made aware of the allegations but never went to law enforcement. Now, Olvera says when she confronted Harris, the female vice president or assistant vice president, uh, vice president, Principal, excuse me. She says that it seemed like she was trying to protect the male student. Now, the student accused of sexually assaulting these students was cited and released into the custody of his parents. For now, now here back out here in Rialto, coming up a little bit later, I'm going to be having more from the family of that victim. Why her aunt says that she broke down when she realized what had happened with her niece. Reporting live here in Rialto, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.